God, there's so many, you guys. What have I done? Am I gonna be okay this season? Um, oh no, what happened? What are you doing? <gasps> Yo! Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of season 3 of our Royal Family series. This is the first episode where we are jumping into some gameplay so I'm very excited. So today the Guangxi Royal Family is hosting a banquet for all the royals of the- I'm good, it's gonna be hard not to say 7 kingdoms now. Now there's 8, technically 9, there's actually 9 kingdoms here. Oh my gosh, this is wild. Um, so we're gonna have 9 kingdoms at this banquet and it is to meet the new royal family. They have not officially been introduced to the other royal families yet and Araminta has pulled out all the stops for this event and I think there's a good reason for it so we'll talk about that in a second too so all the families are going to be coming here I have kind of already invited them over but before we start Araminta is like hey Zayori I need you to come in here like right now although she's talking oh hey Mamie um she's talking to her sister-in-law uh I almost said Empress this is Princess Azumi so she is the oh no don't change I asked you guys to be in those outfits for a reason I probably should have given Azumi a crowd or something that's my bad I did not but we have Araminta talking to her sister-in-law and she's like Zumi I need your help here so Araminta and Zayori this was already coming Covered in season two, but Araminta and Zayori don't get along. That oh, all the girls are in here. Rin, Mamie, she's like, I, I well, hello girls. Um, I need to talk to your sister. <laughs> okay, Azumi, okay, hold on. Everybody get out of here. What, Han, no, this is a private conversation. I think everyone is arriving right now. I do not want to miss the arrivals. Also, you can see I've renovated the palace a bit. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, people are here. They're not completely dressed in the outfits I would like them to be in, but they, they can come in here in just a moment. But first, all right, Araminta is about to talk to Zayori. This is kind of supposed to be a private conversation, but maybe the girls just wanted to like eavesdrop and listen. I texted someone, but they didn't text back and it's been like an hour. Should I text them again? No, just wait for the response. They're probably busy. Um, okay, so Araminta propose <laughs> crazy scheme. Asked to create a hangout. Can't hang out while a social event. Interesting. Okay, darling, I need to talk to you. Deep thoughts. Lecture about responsibility. This is, again, supposed to be a private conversation. So she's lecturing Zayori about responsibility. Zayori is pretty rebellious. We, we've seen that happen before. I've posted several pictures of Zayori. I had like a watch Zayori grow up. So now you guys can see her or you've seen her on my Instagram or in the shorts on YouTube. The amount of people <laughs> who think she looks like a villain. Imagine having an RBF and liking black and everyone is just like, she's going to be a villain. She's going to be evil. Like, please. <laughs> she has an RBF. and But to be fair, I think her RBF drives her mother insane. Talk about current weather, sure. But she's lecturing her about responsibilities because, all right, parenting. Influence to, influence to pee, influence to do homework. That's not what we want here. Oh, hi, Rin. Rin is such like a quiet, so quiet. Again, I have this post that kind of like showed what each of the girls were like. Zayori can be very blunt and she can be very socially awkward. Rin is much more quiet. Mamie is like a social butterfly. Like she is just very cheerful, loves talking to people, is good at talking to people. And so she's a social butterfly. Zayori is the anti-social butterfly. Friendly, deep thoughts, propose crazy scheme, discuss healthy relationships. Ooh, right, that came with a new pack. Deep conversation. Okay, to be honest, I feel like Araminta was like, I want, dear, I need to talk to you. And Rin was in here and she's like, can I talk to your sister? And Zyra was like, just tell me in front of Rin. No one cares. <laughs> so one, Araminta has decided to have this event here because I feel like they had a monarchs meeting and she heard the son of the ruler of Enamorada is Zayori's age and he's like very quiet, responsible. And suddenly they were like, who's going to host this event? They have like, they, these are their kids. And she heard about the son and she's like, I volunteer as tribute. She is like, my daughter is so rebellious. She's so like a big handful for Araminta. She's nothing like Araminta. Araminta like doesn't really understand her. So she has been trying to like set her up with someone responsible who can influence her. So we have like deep thoughts, yeah, propose crazy, scheme. So she's like, darling, here's the deal. I need you to meet this boy. 
<laughs> this prince, we have Ahau Gabor. He is the prince of Enamorata. I don't know if Sayori would be into this as much. It says she's tense. What is she tense with? Okay, okay, she's, oh, she's embarrassed. Maybe she's embarrassed her mom is setting her up with someone again. She's also, hey, Makana, this is, this is a private conversation here. You're walking in shirtless. And then the Haru even family from Difficult Family Dynamic. So, um, ignore Makana. <laughs> so, Sayori's embarrassed. She's angry. She's annoyed. She's like, my mother has tried to sub me up with so many people. I do feel like it's been a lot at this point. Also, I can imagine Araminta being like, darling, please just, please just smile. Like, uh, please look delighted, presentable. Look demure, please. I feel like the RBF drives Araminta crazy. And Sayori's like, this is, mother, this is my face. What am I, what am I supposed to do? This is my face. She's like, just please just smile, do something. And she's like, oh my God. All right, so as you can see, people have arrived. Sayori's like on her phone, like I'm leaving, I'm, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. <laughs> also, I think she 100% wanted to wear black and her mom did not let her. So we have a lot of the royals already here. We have King Adric, he is here and his wife, Queen Desta is here as well. We have Crown Prince Makana and then Princess Kimberly. I invited like the main royal families, any heirs or like children of them, but no toddlers, just like a couple of the child heirs like Prince Sahar here, he is the heir, the, not the heir. His mother is the heir to the Oasis Aesop's throne. And then we have like, I invited dukes and duchesses, just, I don't know, they're really high ranking, you know? I, I figured they would be here as well. So we have like Prince Osiris and Queen Corinne of Willow Creek and her son, Crown Prince Cornelius of Willow Creek. And now we have our queen, our ruler, our, our Latwani. So this is Latwani Tozy. So this is, I will, I'll post a picture on my Instagram soon as well, but um, just so you guys can see her. Oh, she left. <laughs> I was like, just so you guys can see her up close. So now we need to meet. I want the monarchs to be in here. Hello, Jessica, but Araminta, Jessica, please. This is, this is like a very important monarchs sort of thing I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Where's your boyfriend? So Araminta is meeting Latwani Tozy. Oh my God, wait, stop taking pictures of the Empress. <laughs> okay, hold on, everybody stop. Oh my God, she's posing. Okay, we just want the monarchs in here. So it looks like King Louis is already in here. I'm going to have Adric in here so we can have the monarchs officially meet. So I have Adric, he's coming in here. Zyori, poor Zyori is still embarrassed. Who else do we need to have? Oh, Alice May, come here. All right, I now have all the monarchs in one room. So we're here to meet Latwani Tozy. Emperor Lee Wish is also here, um, but I couldn't get him to come in here. So everyone's going to do either respectful or a polite introduction so we can meet the new ruler. Again, this is going, like the ruler is going to change after eight years in game, in, in, in the story. Um, so that'll be interesting. So friendly, respectful introduction. So everyone's introducing their self. Currently, I feel like, oh, she's feeling flirty right now. <laughs> to Latwani Tozi is feeling uh, flirty, but I feel like everyone, Adrian could be proper. I could see that. Oh, Han, if you have to use a restroom, go to the bathroom. Okay, yeah, everyone's introducing themselves. I, does she not like Leilana? Did y'all see that? Wait, she had like the, oh, Leilana is feeling tense right now. Respectful introduction. Leilana, what is up? I'm so curious. Work withdrawals from workaholic. Oh, okay. Well, girl, you're working right now. What do you mean? Is she leaving a bad first impression for the Latwani? I legit don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay, Adric, you've introduced yourself. Allison May, have you introduced yourself yet? Friendly, respectful introduction. Who else? Johan, you need to, God, there's so many, you guys. What have I done? Seriously, what have I done? Is this okay? Am I gonna be okay this season? And then Louis. Somebody said <laughs> Louis looks like he's going to offer them care. Candy and I was like, no, <laughs> no, this picture doesn't help. No, what have I done with this must? I think it was when I made his hair go all white. 
Cause he, well, no, I don't know. It looked pretty weird when he was a brunette too, not gonna lie. All right, Louis is going to do a friendly introduction. So they're all gonna finish their introductions in there. People are dancing in, oh my God, Dean, you are so under, oh, I did not recognize Caspian for a second, y'all. Caspian has different hair and he has uh, like a facial hair now, which is, uh, you know, weird to, to get used to here. But um, yeah, this is Caspian. Everyone else may get engaged soon. I'm really excited. I'm also really excited because if you missed it, Jake and I got engaged like six months ago at this point. Here though, we have the weddings coming up. The Winberg Royal Wedding and the Brindleton Bay Royal Wedding are going to be big ones too. So I'm very, very excited for that. Um, okay, so Zayori needs to meet Gabor in a second. I think Aramit is kind of talking to uh, Latorni Cozy right now to sort of get herself in there. She's like, listen, I have a dog. Daughter. She's your son's age. Um, let's talk. Okay, so here's the other the other deal. Kaito is Iori's cousin. He has been betrothed. Oh my god, okay, actually, they're in the same room. So this is Iori's cousin, Prince Kaito. This is the son of her father's oldest brother. They're about the same age, Kaito and Zayori. And they're fairly close, but Kaito has been betrothed to the Duke and Duchess of Qingxing's daughter. This is Lady Soini. Um, and she's, she's very sweet. I don't think her and Kaito have had much inter interaction though, even though they're betrothed. Like, I think it was kind of just like weird for them for a while, you know? Like, they, they're just like, what do we, what do we, what do we do? We're, okay, this is weird. We're gonna get married apparently one day. So I don't think they've had that much interaction with each other. I think they're just like acquaintances really at this point. Okay, yeah, they like barely know each other. <laughs> wow, they really don't know each other at all, huh? Okay, so Kaito is actually talking to soin me now so they're they have like <laughs> the smallest bit a little bit yeah i guess it is kind of weird for them also genevieve is pr her bows are floating y'all wait is this because she's pregnant her bows are floating i feel like i'm old enough now to where i should be allowed to go anywhere i want to do what i want can you treat me like an adult please i feel like this is a very mamey thing you'll always be my baby i can see her but just saying that that's her baby okay so genevieve is pregnant she might be having her baby like very soon actually and it looks like kaito and and Soon me, they are chatting. So it looks like they're getting along a little bit, but yeah, we're gonna have to kind of see how that goes with them. Cause again, they're like betrothed to each other and they're just like, okay, we're just going to get married one day, but we're still teenagers. And like, this is, this is this weird, like that kind of thing. I don't know if Sayori has met her, honestly. Her and Kaito, they, they're pretty close, but like when they go visit, she just sees Kaito, you know, like she, or like her and her other cousin Yuzuru, like she just sees her family when they go visit. So yeah, we'll see. I mean, she's talking to her grandpa right now and they're they're pretty well off. Um, all right, so now we really need Zayori to meet Gabor. So Gabor is, um, where are you? Oh, I forgot the monarchs are like locked in here, my bad. Jabari's talking to Elon, his nephew, and they're catching up. I feel like Jabari, he probably hasn't been not that great since Amira passed away. I feel like things have been really hard on him, but like, him distracting himself and, and being there for Cedric and Alice May and, and them trying to like grow and, and you know, Alice May is handling being queen. She's been queen for the past six years now. I think it, it, it's a lot for her. And then Cedric, you know, he, he had a rough, if you watch Academic Adventures, he had a rough go in, in high school. And then now he's a big time fashion designer. So um, he's been there for his son too. So I feel like that's kind of distracted him. But now that Cedric's gone or like he comes back to visit but Cedric is gone a lot too and then also like Alice May she, she's thinking about getting married soon I don't know if Jabari has as much going on and maybe he's got more time to himself and and he doesn't always love it like he just thinks about Amira we'll have to catch up with Jabari soon and, and see what's going on I mean Alice May and Caspian they're getting married soon and they want to have kids pretty quickly so he, he might be a grandpa soon so yeah that's a little bit catch up oh my god uh, oh no, what happened? What are you doing? Oh my God, what happened? Now she's tense and she's angry. Girl, oh wow, oh hello, we we came to eat, didn't we? Okay, she needs to meet Gabor. Okay, call over. We, we need to do this away from everybody else. Also, we have Sahar here. And where's Itzel? It, 
Ooh, you know what? Maybe Itzel is a possibility for some of the others as well. We have uh, Pilapo and Sione and Sahar here. So Pilapo is the heir of... No, no, no. Sorry, he's not the heir yet. But I did mention this at the end of season two. Oh, hello. Wait, okay. I'll talk about this in a second. They're literally meeting. They are face-to-face -face meeting. Araminta. Araminta's like, wait, wait. I need to be there. I need to make sure this goes okay. And then Latwani, Tozi, you should probably also be here, honestly. Where are you? Where are you? Where, where are you? Oh, oh, she's talking to Naya. Maybe her and Naya are getting along like really well. Uh, Latoni Tozi, I need you, I need you here. Please, you you all need to supervise. Rin's like, wait, wait, I wanna be there. Oh my God, Zayori, you're so Ted. Okay, actually Rin, I need you to step aside for a second. All right, we're, we're trying to get this meeting going. Okay, I need everybody to stop taking pictures right now. Gabor, I'm going to have you introduce yourself. Oh my God, look at this here. Gabor is about to introduce himself to Zayori and this is Zayori's face. <laughs> Aramint is like, smile, honey, smile, smile. Like, I can imagine Zayori messing with her mother and doing like the cheesiest, most forced smile. And it's like, this is what you want, right? And she looks like terrifying. And Aramita is like, no, no, please. What, what, are you, what are you doing? Okay, now, attempt introduction. I am obsessed with this. Attempt introduction. Rin. Honey, not now, not now, I'm so sorry. Rin just wants to talk to her sister. And Zayori is like, I hate this. She's so tense. The edge of a breakout from having a mood spring, not, not now. A mood swing right now. All the stress is gonna cause me a breakout. More stress than, <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, wait, Gabor is kind of shy. He's, oh my God, Zayori's having a meltdown. Zayori, she's like, my mother wouldn't let me wear black. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, attempt introduction. Is this even going to work? She's feeling so tense. He's like, he's kind of, sh oh, he's fangirling, Never mind. <laughs> He's like, he's kind of shy and he goes, ah! Y'all, I don't know if that, that didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. Oh my gosh, wait, no, Latwani, come back. Araminta is probably, is she tense right now? Is she, te oh, she's tense from garbage around you. Oh my God, Latwani is just walking back and forth. Y'all, this is kind of a mess. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna have her introduce herself and we're, we'll do, we'll do a friendly introduction. I do think Zayori like hates that her mom keeps trying. To, she's, she's has such an angry, serious face and she's like, hey, Hey, hi. <laughs> and now she's on her phone. Okay, Zayori is really socially awkward and can be very blunt. I think, let's see, Gavor, claim Zayori's a plant symbol. Please don't do that. She, okay, they're talking, they are talking. So I feel like it does bother Zayori a bit that her mom just keeps trying to set her up with people. Um, but if your mom tried to set you up with that many people and none of them liked you, I feel like they think she's intimidating. She's really blunt, so they're really put off by her sometimes. I feel like that would do something to your confidence after a while. So maybe Zayori is trying. Uh, maybe you should introduce yourself to his mother. I think she's genuinely trying, but she's kind of in a bad mood already. Yeah, she's just feeling very, t oh, now she's feeling confident, okay. Now, I showed y'all Sunmi, so she's betrothed to Kaito. So her brother, we've already met. Her brother is Lord Taesu. Him and Zayori don't, they, they haven't seen each other for years. He kind of looks like he's looking at her. Maybe he like sees her and maybe only sees one side of her face and is like, thinks she's pretty and then realizes who she is and is like, oh. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to try to go talk to her. I feel like that would be interesting and I feel like Zayori would kind of still be holding a grudge. Okay, all right. Okay, so things are things might be going well. So we'll so they've met now. We'll have to see how things go. Um, oh, Johan's talking to his brother James here. I love that. And then Arya's here. Oh, actually, you know what? You should meet you, if you don't know Arya, you should know Arya, but you should meet her for sure, 100%. This is actually Taesu's mother. So this is Duchess Micha. And then we have Sadira, Han. So in me, looks like she's over here now. Um, we have Alice May, Cornelius, Juliet. Alice May's talking to her brother. Oh my gosh, they're, they're, they're just sorry. They're everywhere. Alice May's talking to her brother, Cedric. Um, so it looks like that we've got a bunch of people chatting in here. And then we have Alice. We have, Mac oh my God, Makana is freaking about, oh, the best void. Critter. Okay, both are equally powerful. Yes, we have Osiris here. So I can't find it. So she is the younger sister of um, Gabor. 
four. Oh, it looks like, wait, you guys just see Sahar hug his Uncle Manuel. I am obsessed with that. Oh, oh, and then, okay, so it looks like the prince, the prince consort, this is in a house. So Eloy, this is the husband of Latwani Tozi. So he's here and it looks like he's talking to Frederick. So they are getting along well. And then we also, oh my God, wait, hello? Okay, so Zayori and Taesu have seen each other and they're arguing apparently. Oh my god, although Zayori's feeling fine and she's feeling energized from argument. <laughs> what is he feeling? Playful. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Oh my god, Araminta is yelling at Zayori. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I might make this the machinima intro for the next episode so we can see a little bit more details going on here. I think we've, we've met a lot. We're going to see like more of the kids and all of that in separate episodes. I'll have some episodes where we focus on like the teenagers and then the kids and all of that stuff. But I think this is a good intro for our story here. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Okay. Well now he's feeling very angry and Zayori's feeling energized. I can imagine Zayori being like, wait, I know you and her holding a grudge because she holds grudges. She's so stubborn. And Taesu is like, bro, that was six years ago. I asked you about your eyes six years ago. I was a child. Where is Gabor anyway? Is he like even here or near this? Not really. He's like chilling. But I don't know if he's going to be put off by Zayor. Oh my God. Well, now he's talking to Rin. Um, I don't know if he's going to be put off by Zayori, but a little Hello? Did he just flirt with Rin? Wait. <gasps> Yo! <gasps> I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. He saw Rin talk to her and now he has a crush on her. Oh my God. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I think this is a good place to stop. We've got a good setup for our story. So yeah, we're gonna end things here. Okay, so let me know what you think. We've met, we've had our Sims meet our new family here and we'll get to know them more as, as the episodes go along. I'm so excited to get more into this. We have a lot going on here and then we will see more about what's going on and then we're gonna have some proposals soon. So that will definitely be interesting and I can't wait. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!